All right, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to simplify an algebraic expression when you are given the values of the desired variables. So our expression is a times b squared minus a times b times c. So the most critical part about solving this type of problem is to use parentheses, which I'm going to show you. So I'm going to, before I even substitute in any numbers, in place of every single variable, as you can see, I'm writing a set of parentheses. This is going to make sure that um, I, cr I catch all of my negative signs correctly and that I do order of operations correctly. So in place of A, I have negative 2. And in place of B, I have negative 1. And then here I have negative 2, B is negative 1, and C is positive 2. So the first thing to take care of is exponents, looking to see if uh, there's any exponents. And indeed, we do. We have the negative 1 squared. Now, again, you don't do the negative 2 times negative 1 first because you need to do exponents first. All right, And negative 1 squared is positive 1. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative 2 times positive 1, all minus negative 2 times negative 1 times positive 2. Now, this first portion right here of the expression will swap to a different color. Negative 2 times 1, that gives me negative 2. Now, this portion right here, I'm going to kind of block it off. And I'm going to do this part first. Negative 2 times negative 1, well, that's positive 2. Excuse me, sorry. That's positive 2. And then bring down the other 2, and, and that's equal to 4. Okay, so again, instead of trying to do all of this in your head, kind of break it down into smaller parts. So again, what I did was this first part right here, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. This second part here that I boxed off, negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Bring down the other 2, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So now I have 2 minus 4. Okay, I put parentheses, but you don't necessarily have to. If, if it's easier for you to understand it this way, then definitely go ahead and, and uh, do it that way. So now I have negative 2 minus 4. Again, this is something you always want to check uh, with your calculator, uh, but you should get negative 6 as your final simplified answer. All right, we're going to do another one. This time we're going to bring in some addition and subtraction. We're going to use the same values for a, b, and c. I'm just going to rewrite it. So I'm going to take a squared minus ab plus ac. All right, so again, use those parentheses. That is what's going to help you. So I set in my parentheses where my a is, where my a and b are, okay, and then where my a and c are. Okay, I'm kind of setting up my problem. All right, now I'm substituting in my values. a is negative 2, negative 2 here, b is negative 1, a is negative 2, and C is positive 2. Okay, again, I'm looking to see if I can, uh, if I have exponents or if I can simplify anything inside my parentheses. Even though I'm writing this with parentheses, I, I can't simplify, like for example here, I can't simplify the negative 2 any further. So I just leave it as is. All right, this first part, negative 2 squared, well, that's equal to 4. Okay, and then I'm just rewriting the rest of my expression. Again, just copying it down line to line. Now at this part, okay, I'm going to again kind of break it down into smaller portions. This part right here, negative 2 times negative 1, that gives me positive 2. Negative 2 times, excuse me, negative 2 times positive 2, that gives me negative 4. I bring down my addition sign, I'll put that in parentheses. Okay, now I'm doing, again, order of operations left to right. 4 minus 2 is positive 2, bring down the plus minus 4, and 2 plus negative 4, 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 2. So those are two examples of how you can um, solve or simplify, rather, an algebraic expression when you are given the values of the respective variables. Thanks. Bye.